pipe, bob salt from lithofin, um, and in the uh, series of cleaning, protecting and maintaining, what we're having a look at today is removing a light algae um, from the surface of a, an Indian sandstone. Um, so the product we're going to use today is lithofin algex, and algex will basically remove those lighter algae um, and spore from the surface um, of sandstones or any natural stones. There are also other videos um, that will show us using this product on fence panels or woodsheds and garages. Um, but today we're going to actually use it on stone. The client here has given this stone a light jet wash a few days ago. Um, and basically the remaining spore we're just going to get rid of um, with this product. If you haven't got a jet wash it's not a problem. Um, you can literally just spray this product on top of those lighter algae. Um, and that will hopefully remove those for you. What it'll also do is inhibit the spore and can inhibit it anything from three to four or five months, depending on the situation of the, uh, the area or patio. So application wise, we're actually gonna put it down with a sprayer. Um, so we've got a pump sprayer. I'm gonna use this at a dilution of one to 10. Um, you can also put it into a watering can if you don't have a pump sprayer um, with a rose and literally just water it in or if you want to, just brush that diluted product in with a soft brush. We're gonna saturate the, the product, the sandstone. I'll give it an hour or so maybe, and then I'll give it a second application because it's quite heavy in areas. Um, and then we're just gonna leave it. And we'll leave that maybe four to five days. You might see it disappearing after two or three, but four or five days later, once you've seen that the algae has gone, um, you can either just wet it um, and just rinse that off or lightly jet wash, or you can actually just leave it to rain it itself off. Let's have a look at the degree of contamination. And then I'll show you just easily a, a spray applying this product. Um, and then we'll come back four or five days later um, and have a look at the result. So the client has given it a jet wash a couple of days ago, but what I'm going to do is just remove any surface debris um, and just brush that away um, just to make sure it doesn't get mixed up in the product. Um, so simply a stiff broom, go across the product and we'll, uh, we'll get rid of that light debris. Okay, so we're ready to spray. Uh, we've just brushed this uh, debris away. Um, thing to remember, when you're spraying this over, do ensure that you've got old clothes on. Uh, make sure you've got some old Wellingtons or boots, old trousers. If you do get a bit of overspray, it's not good for your clothes. If you are doing vertical surfaces, um, ideally you need some eyewear uh, and a mask. Uh, but if we're out down on the ground, just watch your clothing uh, and old clothing required. So we're going to generously saturate the stone. If you can get the stone dry for a few days, the, the drier the stone, the more of the product it will draw in um, and the better the result will be. Um, again, just saturate that through. And once it's absorbed, maybe go back over. And like I say, what I do is perhaps leave this an hour or so once it's absorbed it and just top it up. If you get the harsher the, uh, the contamination, that I want to just give that a real good soak and saturate this product into the stone. Okay, another point, if you're coming up to lawned areas, um, you will have to be a little bit careful there or if you've got plants um, just make sure you're not getting that product on. If you are working up against a lawn um, then uh, you can spray 
the stone prior to the edge stone and then maybe move it over with a soft brush so you're not actually spraying it onto the green areas. The Algex has been working four or five days now um, and as you can see successfully removed all of that algae growth.